Hi guys, welcome to a new video. On this occasion, I will teach you how you can to resolve the problem 2.1 of the vector mechanic mechanic for engineers by Veer and Jensen. Two forces P and Q are applied as show a point A of a hook support. Knowing that P is equal 75 newton and Q equal 155 newton, determine graphically the magnitude and direction of the resultant using the parallelogram law and triangle rule. In this video, I use only the triangle rule. I did other video that I resolved that is precise with the parallelogram law. I let you this video below in the descriptions. The problem question is what is the resultant and what is the angle? The step one, we do the Cartesian axis. I use a technique and I call it and tail and head or head K or head and tail. Okay. The, the force, I take the one force, P or Q, no, no, it's important. Uh, we, uh, so I take first the force P. The force P and the angle, and we know that the problem said that P half 75 Newton of the force. Okay, and you can imagination, you, you can ima imagine that you have here the Cartesian axis, okay? So when I, I, I go with the exercise, I put the, the force P in the Cartesian axis in the same position. You can see it turn off the left, of the Cartesian and half 20 degree and the force I'll say the exercise is 75 okay the next uh, the next thing we do is put other Cartesian axis in the head of these vectors okay for this the technique I call the head and tail but you put the tail of the vector in the head in the other vector uh, you understand Okay, continue. And I put the Cartesian axis in the head of this vector, and I put the other vector, the Q vector. It's here. Turn, turn right, it's the same in the, in the pictures. See that, turn right, it's okay. With 35 degree. See here. And the last, I take the head of the this vector and join with the tail of the first vector and that is our resultant okay and this this number and we give here is our resultant for okay this is uh, the step two is the look for the angles what angles i want i want the angle of here this angle of here Okay, if I have this angle, this angle have 20 degree, but I have this angle that I know this half, that, that half, 90 degree. Is this half the, the, the 20, the 20 degree, the other side half 70 degree, and 70 plus 20 half 90. Okay, and this, this, the, this angle is the same angle of here. But if you stretch the Cartesian axis and you do a square, you can say, you can see that this angle is the same of here. It's the same angle and the same triangle. You can see, okay. And this 20 degree is the same of here, but I don't need that. I need that, but obtain that this angle obtain this angle so but i know too that the q force have 35 angle but here i have 90 degree too so 30 uh, 90 minus 35 i have here 15 degree 35 minus 90 90 minus 35 I have 15 degree and I put here so and I I, I will see now I, I will can say now I have 70 degree plus 55 degree 
I will have 125 degrees and this angle is the angle of here okay now we resolve the resultants what is the valor I what I have here R is the resultant uh, square is equal a square plus b square minus 2 multiply for a for b and for cosines of the angle and what is this angle this angle is here the most big angle i put the, the numbers this is the force a the force a is whatever whatever force and b and the other force square and minus 2 multiply for the force cosines the angle the angle that I have in the center of here and I resolve that you clear the R and the square pass to the other side with a root square and this result ha we have 178.9 is approximately This is our resultants. So I have the resultants and uh, is the one the question that I, I have resolved. We have resolved. Now, what is the other question? What is the angle? What is the angle of the resultants? For this, I need to use the sine's law. The sine's law, and uh, I look for an angle and a force is in the front of this angle. What you say, bro? Okay. If I have this angle, I use the force in front of, the force of the resultant. If I take this, if I will take that, that angle, I will use this, this force. And I use this angle, I don't have this angle, but if I am an example, I use, I will, I will take that force. It, but is the force in in front of the angle okay but I have signs of the 155 angle and what is this angle this angle is here so as I take this angle I need the force in front is the resultants that we have that we have 170 179 the for in force equal we do the same process. We'll take whatever angle. I need the signs of the alpha. Who is alpha? Alpha is the angle complete here. Okay? I have 20 here, but I need a little bit, a little bit more here. But alpha is all that. Okay, the signs alpha divided, divided one, two, five. Why? Okay, I have alpha here, and in front of the alpha is Q. I have this force. For that, I put that here. And I clear the alpha. I clear the alpha, and I pass to the other side, one, two, five, multiply multiply in the other side here see that here is equal sine to the alpha I pass I clear signs to the other side and I have signs elevate to the minus one elevate to the minus one enter to this if you resolve that in the calculator you have the angle of the alpha is equal three four point eight nine but not is the result that I have in the book. If you will go, if you will go to the back of the book, you have the result of the problems. And the book said that the angle is 75. But uh, right now we obtain that. Okay, the, the angle that I need is this angle. Okay, but I have this it is 20. 20 and this is 20 and I have alpha that is 34.89 I can do the subtractions for obtain this part 
Here you can see the subtractions. I have 34.89 minus 20 for obtaining this part. So this part, uh, the valor is 20, it's 20. And all this is 34.89 subtractions. And I have 14.89 is this part. Okay, but now I want this alpha one. I want alpha one. Okay, so subtractions again. I I know that this part have ninety degree, and I don't want this part. I want alone this part. So I will say ninety minus fourteen point eight nine is equal seventy five point one one approximately is 75 degree thank you for watching this video and if you have a question of the other problem you can let me your your question below in the comments thank you